Mr. Beast just announced that he opened 300 restaurants across the country. How he did this? I don't know. But the food looks like this. So basically, I need it. Now, if there is one thing I love, it's YouTube. But if there's one thing I love just a little bit more, it's food, baby. Come on. What can I say? Food has my heart. So the fact that a YouTuber opened up his own restaurant, my mind is blown. This is quite an achievement. I am so proud, Mr. Beast. You should change your name to Mr. Beef. Because you sell burgers now, so it's a joke. And Mr. Beast's new restaurant is called Mr. Beast Burger. So let's go ahead and take a look at the menu and just see what we're working with, shall we? We've got the Beast Style Burger, the Chandler Style Burger, the Chris Style Burger. There's a Nashville Hot Chicken Tender Sandwich. There's Beast Style Fries. And last but not least, there's a grilled cheese. What a coincidence. I, I fucking hate grilled cheese. So let's just say I'm not going to be getting that, but uh, just about everything else, you can you can add that to my cart. So pretty much everything on this menu is calling my name. So that's why today I'm going to be placing a pretty thick order and trying this food for myself. Okay, now I'm thinking it's probably a good time to order this food because I am hungry. And you won't like me when I'm hungry. All right, so let me just look this up on Uber Eats. I have actually never ordered anything off of Uber Eats or DoorDash. Dine and Dat, whatever the apps are called. So Mr. Beast, I am ordering this for you. It is not just because I'm hungry, although that does play a big factor. Okay, so let's look up. Oh, there it is, Mr. Beast Burger. I am definitely gonna have to go with the Beast Style Burger. I mean, look at this thing. This is literally my ideal kind of burger. Mr. Beast, you read my mind and my heart. I love you. Oh my God, who said that? The beast style fries. Just take a moment to bask in their glory. Uh, let's see, seasoning. Do I want it seasoned or unseasoned? I may be white, but I like my seasoning. Nice, nice. Okay, so what else do we want to get, people? The Nashville hot chicken tender sandwich honestly looks like it's on a whole nother level. The Chris style burger, now we're talking. Um, we're gonna tip 20% because I'm, I'm just such a nice guy. Oh my God, this is expensive and place order. I'm excited. All right, the order has officially been placed and now all we gotta do is wait for the food which can take anywhere between 45 and 55 minutes. <sighs> and finally, the food has arrived. It may have taken like an hour for the food to get here. When it comes to Mr. Beast, I'll be a little bit more lenient. It's fine. All right, so this is all the food that we got. We got the Chris style burger, the Beast style burger, the Nashville hot chicken sandwich, and the Beast style fries. Now, when it comes to first impressions, honestly, it doesn't really look anything like the picture. These burgers look like the burgers in the picture's cousin that fell down a flight of stairs, especially the Mr. Beast burger. I don't know what happened to him, but he's, He's kind of fucked up. Maybe my Uber Eats driver sat on him by accident. I don't know. These two, on the other hand, they look pretty good. And as far as the fries go, they do look good. But I kind of feel like there's barely any fries in here, which is kind of weird. But okay, without any further ado, let's just dive right into this food because like I said, I am starving to death. All right, now the very first thing I want to try for sure is the Mr. Beast Burger. Um, he may be kind of ugly. But when I tell you guys it smells incredible, you have no idea. All right, here we go. Very first bite going in. Oh my God. Now I may or may not have just died and gone to heaven, but let, let me just try that again. Okay, I think it's safe to say that Mr. Beast Burger knows exactly what they're doing. And it definitely helps that this burger is well done, which is the only way I like my burgers. It's it's honestly kind of got like a uh, like a Shake Shack, Five Guys kind of vibe. And like, if you can see that edge right there, that is very well done. And that is exactly how daddy likes it. Next on the list is gonna be the Chris Style Burger. This is the burger with a ton of bacon and french fries on the actual burger. Oh my God. And as you can see, this is a big boy. All right, first bite going in. Okay, okay, pretty interesting. I might need to get one more bite. I think I need just one more bite. Okay, that bite was too big. Whew, okay, um, I'm alive. Now that is what I call a burger. This man is beefy, juicy, and very salty. I don't know if that's like the bacon that's salty or the french fries that's on the burger. Either way, great burger, I approve. The only thing is, um, this is actually this burger, but it just has fries and bacon on it. Hey, revolutionary Mr. Beast, 
Well done. Moving on to the last sandwich on the list, and this is the Nashville Hot Chicken Tender Sandwich. I am very excited for this one. I mean, any sandwich that has chicken tenders and pickles on it, it's calling my name. And once again, as you can see, this is a very thick sandwich. It is uh, two chicken tenders, and I see some sort of sauce, a little bit of lettuce, and two pickles. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yup. Mm. Um, I think you guys already know what I have to do. Now that chicken sandwich may just be one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. Although I have not had the Popeye's chicken sandwich, so I can't exactly compare it to that. But it is, it is just the perfect amount of Nashville and hot and chicken and sandwich. And overall, she is just magnificent and I would, I would highly recommend. And as far as like the spiciness goes, it's not too much, it's not too little, it's just enough to get that taste and give you a little bit of bazinga. And it is now time to move on to the last thing that we have, which is the beef style fries. This looks like it's gonna be messy. I should, I should probably have a fork with this, but I, I don't give a gosh darn. Um, I don't know exactly what's on this, but it looks like, you know, the base is fries. Ketchup, mustard, mayo, pickles, cheese something else. I don't know for sure, but it smells really good. Let me try to get like a little bit of every flavor. Okay, so this is gonna be the bite. Um, take a good gander and also don't judge me. This is where they succeeded. Now this, <laughs> these are some good fries. Although I did not get a, a group of fries with a pickle, so we're, we're obviously gonna have to try that next. Okay, we got a couple fries. We got the lonesome pickle, we're going in. No, I just, I don't really know what to say besides these are eloquent. Listen, I've had In-N-Out, the animal style fries. They're not really that good. These on the other hand, the Mr. Beast style fries, yes. I would totally recommend. Okay, so now that I've officially tried everything that I ordered, I think it's about time that we start handing out some ratings, shall we? Let's go ahead and start with the very first thing, the Mr. Beast burger. Like this burger kind of has like that homemade feel, kind of like it was from a backyard barbecue, per se. And the taste is incredible. But I feel like I have had a better burger in my life, so I'm not gonna give it like a 10 out of 10. It can't just win that easy. So as far as the Beast burger goes, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a solid seven out of 10. Congratulations. Next, we're gonna rate the Chris style burger, and this one, definitely a good burger. I enjoyed it. I would literally eat it every single day. So, in my honest opinion, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this burger a 6.5 out of 10, which is still pretty good. Honestly, I think it was maybe like the fries or the bacon. One of those things was pretty salty, maybe like a little too salty. Now, as far as the chicken sandwich, I'm gonna have to think about this one. Every element of this sandwich was just perfectly balanced. But I mean, I feel like there's definitely a better chicken sandwich out there. I mean, if Gordon Ramsay were to make me a chicken sandwich, I don't think he would hand me this. But when it comes to this sandwich, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it a solid eight out of 10. And last but not least, as far as the fries go, this one is gonna be a little bit more difficult to rate. Because I mean, the taste was pretty good, but I also kind of feel like I got a little bit ripped off. I mean, as you can see, I literally had two bites of this, but it's, it's nowhere near full. So I am gonna have to go ahead and deduct a couple points for the lack of fries. But even after the point deduction, my rating for these fries is a solid six out of 10. Okay, so that just about does it for the official Mr. Beast Burger food review. I am even more hungry than I was before. But I gotta say, if you enjoy this video and you plan on trying Mr. Beast Burger, definitely give it a thumbs up for me. That would be very much appreciated. And if you're watching this and you are new to my videos, make sure to subscribe because it is free. Well, let me just say, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you all again soon, but until next time, peace.